What's going on guys, Vibes from Northwest Streams, back again with another video today, and um, uh, this one is a review on the Traddy Tree. Now, a little heads up, my Traddy Tree has been through war. Um, I lost it on the floor after I strung um, my, actually this Clutch X, the first time I strung it, I strung it up, that looks really weird, so I strung this up using the tragedy tree and uh, I set it down somewhere after it was done and the room was really dirty I've lost it uh, I ended up stepping on it and it broke here and right there so I'm gonna have to get a new one but it still served its purpose because I strung uh, I posted it on Instagram I don't know if I put a video up of it on here um, I traded it I know I sold it away to someone already um, the white super powered black throne leather. Um, I strung that with the tratty tree just like this taped up on the bottom and that broken uh, branch. Um, so it still works pretty fine. Um, it's an incredible product. Essentially what it does is holds the leathers in place uh, while you string a traditional while also giving you um, the desirable pocket depth that you want to have strung in your traditional because it'll give you optimal break in. Um, it'll stretch and break in to like the perfect depth this one's pretty pretty worked and broken in and it's pretty uh, pretty much the ball is just above the uh, holes in the sidewall so it's literally perfect um, the diamonds are uniform um, the leathers held their spot and are the deepest point is exactly where I wanted the pocket kind of mid-low that's how I do all my traditionals really because they're going to shift anyway but I want that original carrying spot to be right about the mid-low and uh, I gotta say this is probably one of my favorite traditionals I've ever strung it's a uh, eight diamond all white with white thrown leather um, it just it came out so nice and so clean and all the diamonds are uniform um, and the pocket depth is exactly where I want it to be it's the pocket placement is exactly where I want it to be um, you literally place the traddy tree wherever you want it to uh, wherever you want the pocket to be and it that's where the pocket is it doesn't um, break in higher or lower um, it breaks in right in that spot so I had it about here on the head and you can see that's basically where the deepest point of the pocket is um, granted it will shift um, but the deepest um, point of the pocket when you're carrying it in two hands um, is going to be right here and that's just that's where I like my traditionals to be I don't like my traditionals to be way up here or way low it's kind of like a mid low sorta sometimes mid um, but um, so Traddy Tree definitely um, recommend investing um, they are pretty much I know uh, I'm going to use it for the rest of my life, stringing traditionals. Um, it's just, it's that good. It works that good. And uh, I don't know, I can't imagine not using one now. And I know that, you know, I'm mainly, I pride myself on my traditional stringing because usually I just freehand them and then tension them up and see how they turn out. Um... So I kind of pride myself on my traditional stringing, and I don't like to get like much help. I didn't really, um, when I was first starting to string them, I didn't really ask anybody. I just kind of um, glanced over a few tutorials, looked at pictures, and just kind of tried to replicate it the best I could while figuring things out on my own. So I kind of pride myself on being self-taught, um, but you can never go wrong having a little extra help and I know one of my biggest problems was inconsistency in the leathers one was always one of these center ones was always deeper than the other or one was always tighter or one was always you know pulled more to the left than it was you know and it's just this holds them in place so you can string a beautiful traditional all these leathers are in place and it's it's just I recommend it to anyone that strings traditional just because it's you can never go wrong having help. I'm going to say that because that's basically the point of this video. Um, it holds the leathers in place so you will get a consistent pocket every time. 
Um, it places the pocket for you. It holds the leathers. It pretty much, other than you moving the string, it pretty much strings it for you. I mean, you don't have to worry about the leathers, you know, getting looser or being lopsided or anything like that. It just, it does it for you. So it's a pretty incredible thing. Um, definitely recommend if you string traditional to pick one up. Um, and you don't want to have your sidewalls too tight because I almost broke it before I even used it. Um, I was trying, I did, originally I had these uh, interlocks as knots so that the string was pulled really tight and really flush to the plastic um, because that's usually what I do with my traditionals. Um, but using the Tradi tree, I needed to be able to slide it under, and I could not get it under with those knots. And I think I posted a picture of it before I strung it, and they said, snug is great, but tight something. I don't know. Um, if I find it, I will post it um, in the end of this video. Um, but basically, what the gist of what they were saying was you don't want it too tight, or it's going to be, you know... Um, Bad News Bears, the sequel. Um, so, you know, you want it snug, you don't want it too tight, though. So, yeah, definitely recommend picking one up if you string traditional. Um, I know I love it. I need to pick up a new one because mine's busted. Uh, Clutch X, probably one of my favorite heads now to string a traditional in just because it turned out so well, and I like the offset with the traditional pocket, and you just have optimal stringing holes. You can place them. I know... I started stringing this track right here and realized I got through this and I started to do the inner and I started to, you know, doubt it. And I was, so I went back through, unstrung the sidewall and left the outer and then laced the sidewall back through these loops so that I didn't have to unstring that outer portion. Um, but uh, turns out with a little bit of adjusting and a little bit of tension, um, adjusting, it turned out to be one of my top, top five traditionals that I've strung, eight diamond pita, all white, thrown leather, mid-low pocket, and it kind of channels it for you too, I don't really generally string channels in it, but this kind of gave it a channel, which is awesome, um, I don't really shoot for that in traditionals because it doesn't really matter, but, Yes, so Tratty Tree, I give it a 10 out of 10, 100%. I'd give it 11 if that was mathematically possible. But um, I'm going to pick up a new one in the coming weeks. You guys should too if you string traditionals or you're wanting to string, learn, you're wanting to learn to string tra traditionals. Because um, it's just, it's an essential product in the traditional game, in my opinion. Some people won't agree with me, some people will. That's my opinion. No one has to have the same opinion. No one has to share it with me. Um, but that is my opinion. And I'm going to hold to it. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, another video. I've packed a lot of videos into today, and they're pretty long. And they're all about eight minutes. Sorry about that. Um, but if you watch them all, thank you so much. Um, hit the like button if you liked it. And as always, thanks for watching.